Phone in, everybody. I'm running behind. Not my normal time, but I'm running behind. Hey, Teresa. How are you? Okay. We are working with large board. Hi, Teresa, number two. I might can use that. All right. Let me point you down towards where I'm working. The daughter's in the room, too. Thank you. All right. Good evening and welcome to my live. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Hope you have a great time. Teresa says hi. She said hi. Hey. And we are going to try to have a great time. And I'm hoping, because this is a, a wing and a prayer, that this will turn out the way I'm expecting it to. But here's our sign. Let me turn this light off. There. Here's our sign. Okay. She's working on getting a bunch of leaves and things like that. I'm not going to take them all out, but here's a whole basket full of ribbons. Potential use. We're going with a chocolate jute mesh and this uh, cream or beige fabric mesh. All right. Can you hand me that orange? I think it's. I might use it. Ouch, that hurt. All right. So let's move this right here so y'all can see it. Let me put this behind it to help anchor it so y'all can see it. There we go. All right. So we're going to get started, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to fill up the whole board, okay? So you'll need some Chanel stems. Hi, Nikki. Come on in, friend. Um, you'll need the large board Chanel stems. We've got this sign. We've got some leaves. We've got pumpkins, and we have ribbon. And if I could find my orange or burgundy, I think I found the burgundy. Um, may even put some uh, tubing in it. Or some burgundy. Man, that waste basket under there. Is there orange tubing in there? Hey, Tony. Can I have it? And here is some orange tubing. I don't need that. This is plenty. So we're probably going to put these in here, too. What about brown? I got plenty of brown. Not tubing, but I'll have plenty of brown in, in the wreath. Waistband? Just down there somewhere. All right. So let's point this down some more. You know, let me get it. It's crooked. There we go.
All right, now maybe you can see the whole table. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start on row one. I get my tubing at um, Dollar Tree. Do you want me to show you how to use those? There's a certain way to use them. See the flat side? That goes against it. See? And then you cut it. In this case it won't cut, but you can wiggle it back and forth. But that's the side you use. Okay? If it tears a hole. It shouldn't. Hey Lynn. Alright, now I, I skip it. Skip row one. We're gonna start on row two. It may just pull out. And I may not even use Chanel stems tonight. So let's play around with this. Hey, Tweety. Welcome in, my friend. Let me load my board real quick. I'm slightly behind, y'all. I wanted to do a live, but then I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a live. And here I am doing a live. Not at my normal time. But it's okay. That one don't match. And if you hear me talking to anybody else but you guys, it's because Leanne is in here. Hey, everyone. And if you hear the rustling around, that's her looking for things to put in this wreath. Some goodies. What about scarecrows? Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't get a chance to show um, Doug that picture you sent me. Nikki says hello. Hey. You can pick flowers, just don't pick too big a flower. Okay. Is this the perfect size? That's fine. Let me see. How how far down are you cutting the stem? Okay. Try uh, those up there. The pink ones. Okay, so tonight, if everybody is just now joining, this is the sign we are working with. While I load my board says hello pumpkin thank you I bought it last year at looks like Walmart don't cut it no shorter than that I got it when it was on sale marked down What do y'all think if I do a, a witch wreath? I was thinking about buying a mask and then creating around that. I bet she'll love that. No. 
Teresa had the idea of putting eyes in its lights. Lights in its eyes, not eyes in its lights. I can't even speak for sputtering. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do ribbon tails, but if I do, I might put my sign off to the side, and whatever side I decide to put my sign is where I'm not going to put ribbon tails. Does that make sense? Because my sign is quite big. So we'll see how that works, how it turns out, okay? Oh, yeah? There ain't gonna be nothing up there. That's all Easter and stuff. That's Christmas. It's too cool. All right, so I'm gonna mix up my mesh, like I always do. Alright, so 16 is what I'm going to cut. And I'm going to cut them at 12 inches. Alright, can everybody see what I'm doing? Okay. Not the white ones. Those are for like Easter. All right, so I'm gonna cut it at 12 inches. I'm gonna cut eight of these and eight of the other one. I'm seriously thinking about it, y'all. The book wreath that I gotta make she wants a crow in it, so I have two crows coming, so I thought, well, I could put a crow on top of the wreath, like it landed, which will look pretty cool. What do y'all think? Put the lights in its eyes. I'm going to get a wicked green looking one. She should have a green face with a big pimple. Okay. One second, y'all. Hey, Beverly. I think it'd be cool, too. Cutting these eight of them at 12 inches, and this is the chocolate brown with the beige jute in it. So there's eight of those. Let me cut eight of these. Now, y'all know I'm not big into Halloween, right? I'm doing it for fun. Hey, Helen. <laughs> right? Maybe. Cutting these at 12 inches also. In my mind, I know what I want this to look like, but I'm not sure if it's going to turn out that way. 
So we are going to play her by ear. The sign I wanted to use tonight, I couldn't find. So, Wednesday. This is what we're working with on Wednesday. Pretty cool, huh? I found it. I just showed it to you. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. That's why I couldn't find it. There's eight. That's okay. It's all good. All right. Went for a quick ride this evening. It was very nice out. Very it wasn't too hot, so I like it when it's not hot. Hey Cindy. All right, so I'm not sure. These might be too close together for what I'm wanting to do. So let's try it and see. I cleaned up my craft room the other night when I was done, and here I'm gonna make a mess. I was thinking that. So I'm doing the cruffle and then I'm gonna fold it downward like that. And then I'm gonna put it right here in my wreath. Now I know I said I was gonna put ribbon tails. I'll have to go back over it with these smaller zip ties. which will be totally okay. Now let me put one next to this to see if it's too close. So I'm curling ends three times on each side and then scrunching it and then folding it in half. Okay. So it looks like this, flip it over, whichever works best for you, flip it over, it looks like a ghost. I think it'll be okay. So see, that's what I'm going for. And I think that it'll match the sign quite well. I wish I had some of that burnt orange color. I think it would have looked a lot prettier. But I don't, so we're going to go with the earth tones. So how has everybody's day been? Mine was decent for a Monday.
You're just going to do the same thing all the way around. Okay. Yeah, I like it cooler. Today it didn't, I think the high today was 77. I had a headache this morning, but I think it was because of the weather. Hopefully it'll go away soon. So what was for supper tonight, y'all? I had Chick-fil-A. Something quick and simple. It's like a rainforest, I'm telling you. It's rained a lot here, too. Yeah, it did. I'm eat some frozen yogurt later. Since I can't have ice cream. Spaghetti. That sounds good. Oh no. Yeah, me too. Time the barometric pressure changes, I get headaches. Ooh, chicken wings. Well, oh, I ate chicken today and it messed up my stomach. Something awful. It's not like I hadn't eaten it before. I don't like those. I mean, I like them, but not for this reason. How about this one? How short? About like the others. like this new eating thing. I can't eat whatever I want without it hurting me. Sorry about all the noise in the background. It's just me. Be me. Hot and muggy. They said by the end of the week it'll get hot and muggy here too. I'm missing one. No, I'm not. Oh. That ain't good. But I don't like neither one. I mean, I'll eat tomatoes if they're in something, but soup beans, forget it. I ain't touching them. It 
the most I'll do with the soup bean is try it and make sure it's done. Other than that, I will not eat them. I don't like any kind of soup beans. No, but I sure do. This child eat a whole can of uh, black eyed peas if you let her. And black olives. That ain't beans. Well, still. Supposed to be in the 80s here tomorrow, too. Don't cut up too many flowers. I'm not picking the ones I want. Oh. That's what they like, too. I won't eat them. What is it? Pinto beans of cornbread. Mm. There we go. I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see the sign. can't have a salad either. Yeah. Remember that giant salad I ate at um, Texas Roadhouse? I can't even eat that no more. That was pretty good too. really upsets me that I can't have it. Alright, we're almost done with the first row. Cut them at 12 inches, Karen. 10 inch roll. I cut it at tw 12 inches. I hope so. You're welcome. I mean, I know it's only been a month, but still, I feel like somebody's cut off my right arm. I'm going to have to order some more boards. I tend to use these more than I use a wire frame. Now when I do my witch, I can't do it on this. I'll have to do it on a, a raised form, wreath form. Oh, uh, okay. Leanne, I think we got plenty out here. Were there any small, small pumpkins, or are they all just the big ones? Big ones. All right. That's why I gave you what I gave you. Looks like I'm going to have to be buying some smaller pumpkins, too. That's what I'm trying to look for. Well, they won't be in the dresser with the ribbon. You pulled it out too far. What, what stuff? Yeah. 
We're gonna break it one. Yeah, like the last time. Yeah, that one is a uh, Easter. <laughs> Can't use that one. All right, quit snooping. All right, two more pieces for this outside row. And then we will do ribbon tails. And I may even put my sign in the middle instead of on the side. everybody done today? There's a squirrel. I know. You should put him in it. No. I can't put a critter in this. She can. No. Those are for my yardsticks. <gasps> hey, Carrie. Alright, let me cut these off. This is what we got so far. I think the colors are, are perfect. Alright, so let me go around here again with these smaller zip ties because that is where we're going to put a ribbon this board inches. It's the large board. I'm using the large board. Those of you on here want to check it out, I've started my Etsy shop again. I don't have everything in it yet, but I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. I've just got so many wreaths to go through and all the details. But I'll get it. Just going to try it one more time. If it don't work, then I won't do it again. Noisy. Hey, Kim. Sorry. How about a pipe pump? They're too big. Even if I try to swallow? 
I need tiny ones. Where would they be? I used them all. You didn't tell me there was flowers in that. Where? Well, that's for other stuff. How are you, Kim? Ooh, I want to see it, Lynn. Send me a picture in Messenger or something. Y'all, I can't wait to make that book wreath. That's going to be something interesting. Hey, Melinda. Sorry if I missed you. Oh, is it that good? I was I was wondering about it, just haven't had a chance to go and see it. So how many new folks we got in here tonight? You're welcome. I'm doing well. Good deal. I'll have to go and watch it. I think it's still in three in our theater. What is it? If not, I'll wait for it to come out on Disney. What is it? Sound of Freedom. How many new folks do we have tonight? Let us know you're on, where you're watching from. If you are new, welcome to my page. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I do not mind whatsoever to answer them. Also, if you have your own business page, you are more than welcome to post your link so that the other ladies can follow you. We are a small community that likes to help one another grow. And my name is Tammy with Unique Reads. Arkansas. I'm in Georgia. Welcome, Arkansas. Everybody give Melinda a warm welcome. Hi, Melinda. We like our new folks. If you get a chance, Melinda, um, go up there to the top right corner. You're not new, Tony. Click on the bell and select follow and click on all lives, or I think it's all lives. That way you'll know when I go live again. Welcome, Tony. Tony's not new. All right, that sounds great. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. Here's the sign we were working with. Now, let me pick two ribbons that I want to use. I know I'm going to use that one and probably that one. You're awesome, Tony. Albany's not far. Albany in the house. We have Arkansas in the house. Florida in the house. It's Albany. Then we we also have uh, Indiana in the house. Lord, I can't keep up. There's a bunch of you in my house. But I like that you're in my house. It's Albany. Not Albany. Albany. That's right. Hi, Loretta from Virginia. Everybody welcome, Virginia. We like our new folks. All 
right, I'm going to cut these at 13 inches. Y'all that are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Tammy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If I don't catch it, one of the other ladies will. Hey, Janice from Kentucky. Y'all welcome Janice to the group. And I just found a ribbon I think I want to use instead of the plaid. Give me one second to tear up my house. I like that burnt orange. So yes, feel free to ask questions. I don't mind you posting your link on my page for all the other ladies to find you. Because we like to follow one another and we like to help each other grow. So post your links, post away. You need what? This one? Hobby Lobby. And I know they got their fall stuff out. And I know it's 40% off right now. Okay, I need 16. Order it. <laughs> Have it shipped to your house. I mean, you know. I'm, I might go this weekend. I don't know. Depends on my mood. So you might want to go. Now they're open to nine, right? So you got one hour. You're an hour behind me and it's ten minutes to nine here. <laughs> no. No, she has to stay for the live. She she can go in the morning. Already then, not possible, but already then. Take her with you. Does Ari like to go shopping? Six more. Give her some candy.
We got to teach that girl. She's got to love shopping. <laughs> I don't think he'd kill you. That's what you're supposed to do. Spoil them and send them home. I may not do it in every one of these ties, but I cut enough that I have extra for the next row if I don't use it on every tie. The reason I probably won't use it on every tie is because they're so close together. My helper left. Oh, watch. There's a deer. There's a deer. There's a deer. Where? There's a truck. You know what? It's right there. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a doe. Hopefully she don't get run over. Maybe she won't. a web camera connected to my laptop it's one of these just a webcam you get it at Walmart and it's got a USB in and you just plug it into your computer you don't have to download nothing Plug and play. Easy peasy. And mine that I have right now has a ring light on it, so it makes it a lot easier. That I can either turn the light up or down. Which mine right now I have it halfway. And then I go on Facebook and I hit go live. All right. Now I'm going to get this board and I'm going to cut 16 of these. I have 16. You're welcome. Hi, Penny. I don't mind sharing. Alright, so let me go ahead and cut my dovetails. Sorry, I'm like slow tonight. Don't know why, but I am. Does that hurt y'all's feelings? I'm going too slow, I'm sorry. I 
just like to go at my own pace. Hey, Kathy. I am curling it on the ends three times, scrunching it, and then folding it in half. So it looks like a ghost, in my opinion. Somebody put a mean face on my live from the other night. I don't know why they would do such a thing. When I do the next row, Kathy, I'll show you how I did it. Don't mind one bit showing. Thank you, Lynn. I don't like to rush through things when I'm teaching. That's right. There was a thing floating around Facebook the other day that <laughs> had me tickled. If I find it again, I'll share it. But, um, so those of you on Facebook that don't like what you see, keep scrolling. Something to those words. Yeah, I thought it was kind of rude. Yep. A lot of times when I see it, I'll block them because, you know, I don't I don't have time for neg negativity on my page. You know? I'm here for a reason and I enjoy teaching so therefore if they don't like what I'm teaching they need to keep going had somebody do that to me on YouTube also I like your wreath but you took too long to make it Yeah, exactly. But they didn't. It still shows on my on my notifications. Thank you. Hey, Sandra. Thank you. Hey, Donna. Yep, I'll show you the fold as soon as I go to row three. I didn't put anything on row one. I skipped row one and went to row two. Hi, Kimberly. Welcome. Oh, you're welcome, Beverly. Amen, sister. All right, so the pumpkin ribbon, I cut it 13 inches. And the burnt orange is cut at 12. And I did that for a reason because I like that it overlaps. Let me move this. Thank you, Kathy. I try. I do put a lot of heart in everything I do. I mean, it's like I've said before, I don't want to buy something that was just thrown together. You know, 
I I want to buy quality, so therefore I make quality because I want somebody else to buy it, you know, buy it too. Amen. There's no point in it. There's no point in people being rude. All right, let me move my sign. All right, so what I done, see how my, I'll flip it over. See how they go over just enough to cover the edge? Then what I did is I went over top and put a smaller zip tie in. I know you can't really see it, but there is a smaller zip tie right here. And that is what I'm going to attach my ribbons to. Now the color that I choose to put my ribbon on is going to be this beige because I like the brown showing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my patterns just like this. Okay, can everybody see what I'm doing? I like to overlap. I don't like them to be straight on top of one another. I like to overlap it. And then I'll find my center. Just like that. Thank you. All right, so I am going over the beige. So you're going to take it and fold it just like this. Okay. It'll be a little hard to hold on to, but you can do it. And take it and set it right there and pull your tie. And make sure you pull it tight so you don't pull your ribbon back out when you go to straighten it back out, just like that. And this is going to automatically fan just like that. Okay. Thank you. And since it is overlapping like that, I'm going to go around. I know I'm wasting zip ties, but hey, us crafters, we learn these things as we go. And that's how I am. I wing it. I go with my gut at the beginning. If I end up cutting up something, then so be it. And I move on. I learn as I go because I am teaching, so I'm not only teaching you, I'm teaching myself. Alright, so therefore, amen. Yes, I have two zip ties. Yes, I did. So you see, see that? This one right here is where the mesh is. And then I took the smaller zip tie and put it over top. You're welcome. So that I can get my ribbon in there. welcome. So you're going to take it, pinch it, pull it forward just like that. Make sure your points match.
Hi, Twilla. Sorry I missed you the other night. Welcome to the page. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, and you see how that is fanning out? And when I put this sign on here, it's a perfect match. This, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's just a little, I found it over where the Cricut stuff is. And I love it because it fits perfect in my hand. I got it at Hobby Lobby a few years ago along with my pink rotary. You're welcome. I got them both at Hobby Lobby. Because Hobby Lobby is my downfall. Thank you. Take it and bend it forward just like that. Okay. right I know I'm fixing to do some shopping there this evening when I get done because I ordered new signs from uh, Creek Road they should be here I think this week or m maybe the beginning of next and I need stuff to match my signs now oh yes craft outlet too See, it's fanning out just enough that you can still see the brown. Hey, Judy, welcome. Yes, me too. Of course you are. I like Julian's. I like Michael's too, but sometimes Michael's don't always have everything. I think so. I haven't been been to one yet. I'm hoping not this weekend, but the following weekend I have my craft show, so it'll be either after my craft show or I'll have to wait another weekend. But yes, I can order them. I can go online and order them from Hobby Lobby. Whoops. The 3D signs, it's the ones that look like they're, um, Oh, how do I explain it? They sell out fast. Yeah, I've got to sell some. That's why I opened my uh, Etsy shop back up. Yes, I do like using the raised forms too.
It is time consuming. I uh, sat yesterday and I've only got eight of my wreaths in there. And it took me all day just to do those because it's not just posting pictures, but you got to get your wording right. Your SEO is correct. Your, I mean, there's a number of things that you've got to do. And it takes up a lot of time. It's well worth it if you can figure it out and people find you. I like this color. This is turning out very, very pretty. And we just have four more. That's, I mean, I know I cut more than I needed, but I'll use it on the next row. <laughs> This one is, well, I lost the ticket. I lost the ticket for it. But it's a uh, fabric jute. Hey, B. So this is like a, a jute, fabric jute. Thank you. I've got way more to go on there. So this one has is the chocolate with the jute, and then this one is just a beige fabric mesh. I haven't tried to burn the mesh, the um, fabric. I think I've done all others. So I wouldn't do it on the fabric mesh because I think it'll burn it and set it on fire in my opinion. I only use my wood burner on uh, poly burlap. But I think it's, everybody's got a different preference on what they use to cut their mesh. I use my rotary on most everything except for my burlap. You're welcome. I, whenever I put a wreath together, it's usually spur of the moment. I never have it planned. I just tell you that I'm going to work with a Unique in the Creek board that you can find on Unique in the Creek from with Lori, or you can find them on Amazon, um, Craft Outlet, Hobby Lobby. Um, can't think of all the places you can get them nowadays. But I don't plan my lives. I just pick something and go with it. You know, sometimes people will post pictures of what they're going to make. I tried that the other night and it don't work for me. 
because you know what if I'm not going to use everything that I put in that picture so I prefer to just go with the flow Now tomorrow night, I'm going to do something with a yardstick if I'm able to go live. If not, then I'll do it another night. I know my daughter works tomorrow night and she gets off at 7.30, so one of us has to go and get her. You can do it. I got faith in you. Just be patient with it. I like to make flowers too. I do have to make a, another sunflower for my craft show coming up. Because that is my biggest seller. So I always make sure I have at least one or two. Okay, last one and then we will start on row three. Just don't overthink it. You're welcome. Anytime you need help, I'm always here. Even when I'm at work, I answer my messages. And people ask questions all the time, and I do not mind whatsoever to answer and help you or offer you my advice to what might or might not work. But I would never tell you you can't do something. Alright, that's it for row two. What do y'all think? Okay, let me take care of my mess real quick. Thank you. Now row three has shared holes. And when I mean shared holes, you have a set of holes and then you have one hole in between each set. I'm not going to use that shared hole. Thank you ladies. I'm not going to use this single hole. I'm just going to use the pair. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I only need eight cuts of each color and see they're going to fan out just enough that you're not going to need to worry about that middle, that other hole so let me load my board
The only time I would use the shared holes is if I'm making a flower. If that makes sense. Grab the wrong ones. Okay. I just love working with these boards. They are so universal. There's so much you can do with them. And I haven't yet done something with these boards that I didn't like. Using the hang on I think they're eight yes these are eight inch and then the smaller one I have is six inch these are the ones I'm using for my ribbon I'm using the bigger ones to help hold my mesh because it's a little sturdier. All right. You're welcome. So I need to move these out of the way because I need eight of each color and I'm cutting as I go. Now I need four of each color, not eight. My bad. And I'm cutting them at 12 inches. Cindy, you're forgetting to count for me. If, if I should stay with 8 o'clock instead of 7.30. I wonder if 8 o'clock would be a better time for me. It would definitely give me more time to get supper cooked or anything else that I need to do before I go live. Such as cutting material or, or you know, being prepped, which I like to to do this part of it too, so that people can see what I'm doing. And I don't mind. You think so? I think I'm gonna stick with it. I like how it's worked out for me. So far it has anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the brown this time. Alright, so I'm gonna take it curl side up. Here's my clothespin. I'm gonna roll it three times. Okay, turn it, do the same thing on the other side, three times, 
scrunch it up the middle, curl side up, flip it over to the curl side down, and then just take it and fold it forward just like that. And it looks like, to me it looks like a little ghost or a little fan. Then you're just going to take it and set it in your zip tie. Hi, Christopher. Okay. Just like that. So one, two, three. Rachel. Okay, hi. Yes. You got it, Kathy. You just want to make sure it matches. And see how that's filling in just right? I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's filling in exactly how I have it in my mind. Oh, yeah? I bet that was pretty. Ooh, I bet that'd be pretty. Oh, well, welcome. That is totally fine. Welcome, Rachel. Everybody, welcome, Rachel. Um, I got it at Walmart last year at the end of the season when they were on sale. I got it and then another one that says something about a latte on it. get my husband to look at my light. It's flickering in here on me. Okay. Just keep turning it and going around. The colors complement each other. Matches the sign right just right. Excuse me, just a second. Come on, Chloe.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I believe so. I mean, the colors are all there. It's it's just perfect. I love it. I don't know what that was, but it just fell on the floor. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. I got it at Walmart last year at the end of the season. I'm hoping this year they'll bring it back because, I mean, it was it's pretty. I love it. Alright, so two more color, two more, and then we're done. And then I will add my ribbon tails. Yeah, it's like a, um, Yeah, it's on a board. I was looking to see if there was a size. I don't see one. But it is 11 tall. So it's 11 by 13. It's a 15 inch. It's a large board. It's not the character board, but it's, it's the large board. I don't think I'm going to put tubing in this, y'all. I think I'm liking it the way it is. I mean, I might put some somewhere. I don't know, but I, I don't want to hide the ribbons and stuff. Thank you, Penny. And there's that part done. Let me go through and pull out all of my cut pieces. Thank you. Well, here is a perfect example of what you can do with one. You can do the same exact thing with the small one, and you can do the same exact thing with this big one. I mean, it, it's totally up to you how you want to use them and what. Uh, ruffle you want to use to I mean I mean it's the sky's the limit all right so I'm gonna go over top 
the beige again. I'm going to put this in so that I can put my ribbon tails. And I'm only going to do four. Thank you. Appreciate that. I love using them. I mean, I have found so many different things to do with them. I barely use the wire frames anymore. I like to use the raised ones if I'm going to use a wire frame. All right. This time what I'm going to do I'm going to put my ribbon in and then I'm going to go back to the brown ones and I may put the burgundy tubing in it. We're going to wait and see though. Yes, it'll fit between two doors. Um, the pumpkin ribbon is cut at 13. The rust one is cut at 12. Yeah, I'll hold it up here in just a second. So here's the width of it. It's only going to be four inches wide, so it should fit perfect between the doors. See, that's going to lay nicely in there. Nope. Exactly. I was going to add pumpkins to this, but I think what I'm going to do is add flowers. I've got some of these. Actually, Leanne 
put me some stuff over here that I can go through and use and I have some leaves but I'm not sure yet how I want to do it so far I'm liking it just as it is Amen. I agree. Hard to tell sometimes with this ribbon what side's up. I think this is the right side. No? I think it just needs to be this, the sign, and, and a bow. Maybe a few leaves. What do y'all think? I like the simple things. Margaret, I'm using a jute mesh, chocolate jute with the a, a beige jute and then a fabric, burlap, uh, not burlap, um, a beige fabric mesh. That works, yep. And then, when I finish this part, then I'll do my ribbon tails in the opposite of where these are. I think that would be perfect. Thank you. This one's not wanting to cooperate. Something's not right with it. Let's try a different way. I see what I did. I'm folding it the wrong way. Why didn't you tell me? I was wondering why it looks so different. Let 
we fix this ribbon? All right. Now I'm going to go to row four. And I'll need four of each color again. Bear with me just a moment while I put these in. Actually, I'm going to try and see what every other looks like before I actually know. I'm just going to do them all. I know I'm squishing my ribbon, but I will fix that in, in just a moment. That's what I love about it. It will fluff back out. I hope you guys are enjoying the live and learning something new. If not, if you're still struggling with something, let me know. I don't mind one bit answering your questions. I love to teach. One reason why I will not do a subscribe group because I don't think it's fair to charge you to, to do something that, you know, everybody's doing. I mean, I don't understand the whole point of that, but... I believe you'll love it, Lynn. I mean, it's it lays beautifully. Your ribbon tails, they lay beautifully. You know, you can just go through and fix them as you need to. Curl them so that they lay a certain way. I do believe you would like it if, when you try it. Alright, so let me cut four more of each. I'm still cutting at 12 inches. And this is probably the last row because the middle is going to be covered. I believe I'm going to put my sign in the middle. And then again, I may put it to the side and a big bow on, you know, on the side. It is very easy to do. And once you pick up on it, it'll, it'll be a breeze to go through and, and make it. I am just going slow because I'm teaching you how to make it. But I could probably make this wreath in an hour and a half. Hey Sandra, welcome. Thank you for joining. And this wreath right here is a one and done because I do not have another sign. I know. It's on as fast as it go. Tomorrow, will you check my light? It keeps in it. Um, in and out? Yeah. I love you, bud. Love you too. See you in the morning. So two more of this beige. 
Um, I think my time that I'm going to start coming on, Sandra, is going to be 8 o'clock. I'm thinking 8 o'clock is going to be my number. It was 7.30. I think 8 o'clock is a better fit. I think some of the other ladies agree. So I'm going to stick with 8 o'clock. And I have to work with the days that my daughter is not working so that I can be on at a proper time. All right, now what color do I want to start with? I want to start with the, the beige, I do believe. So again, you're just going to curl it three times. And flip it around, do the same thing to the other side. go back and cut that in a minute so it doesn't matter which way you go but I always tend to go you know I guess that's clockwise or counterclockwise I don't know I go in that direction I go always go to my right So those of you that are new, I do appreciate you being here tonight. It warms my heart to see a lot of people join my live um, and want to learn. I mean, you know, it has to be a passion. Not everybody has the cork to do it. Yes. I was saying ghost for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, I was thinking ghost. <laughs> but yes, it looks like a bell. And those of you that are new, if you will spread the love, sprinkle my page, tell others about me, check out my Etsy shop you can check out my youtube there's other videos on my youtube channel that i put on every day uh, every time i go live i post my videos there also um and that little bell up in the right corner 12 inches and don't be sorry i do not mind you asking questions that is how you learn that's how you do it, my friend. I like your ghost, Kathy. Practical. And as soon as I find my um, witch mask that I want to use, I'll be making a witch wreath. A witch wreath. Say that a little slower. For Halloween. I'm not a Halloween fan, but... After I made my skeleton wreath the other night, I enjoyed it. I loved how it turned out, so now I'm wanting to try something different.
I need to plug in my glue gun. Right fast. I'm trying to get my glue gun to stand up. And there we go. Hey, Gina. Now, I haven't done nothing scary yet, but I think the witch, the witch wreath will be scary. It'll be interesting for sure. Only because I've never done one. Also, you guys, you don't want to miss the uh, book wreath that I'm going to be doing. I am going to be doing it live. That is also a first for me. And it has a crow in it. You take a book and you tear the pages out of the book. And you crinkle them up or you can use do like a scroll and then use your twine and tie them together. Or, um, I mean, there's so many different ways you can use the book pages. Um, but this one I'm doing has, um, yes, I said book. Um, it has spiders on it. It has a crow in it. And that's what this lady wants me to make. So that's, that's the next, that's gonna be a project coming up. And I will make it live. And it it's a first for me, for sure. But it, it's going to be cool. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And I may even make one ahead of time. Um, just to get a feel of it and, and the know-how. And what I might do with it is make a flower. Hey, Linda. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. When she asked me, I was like, uh, I don't know, but I, I, you know what? I'll try anything at least once. My thing is, if it don't turn out right, I won't do it again. And then again, it may be a new trend for me. But I think it's going to be awesome. Between the book wreath and a witch, I think I've got a couple of interesting projects coming up. I bet you are. Hey, Gina, what does the fox say? I'm going to have to buy that sign. Probably not this go around, but I will be doing it. So who all is in for watching the book wreath? Who is up for that? You can't spell it? <laughs> okay, that's three. What I think I might do is use a wire frame. I think I'll get go to Walmart or something and get a little 12 inch frame. Hi Tommy. No, I'm not on every Monday. Um, my daughter just so happens to not have to work tonight so I decide to go live. So, 
You know, I mean, it just depends. I know I won't be able to do it tomorrow. If I do go live tomorrow, it'd be much earlier because I got to pick her up at 730. But then again, I may still be able to come on at 8 o'clock. We'll just have to play it by ear, and it's very possible that I might be a few minutes late coming on. But I can still do it. I can wing it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining. I'm trying really hard to find a schedule that works for me. So, um, working in between her schedule is a trick. But, I can manage it. I can do it. If I'm a few minutes late coming on, y'all just hang out and wait. I'll be there. I will not tell you I'll be there and then not show up. I promise you that. Look how full this is getting, y'all. Yeah, I work um, till 5, and then I get off work. I'm usually home about 5.30. Uh-oh. I almost threw them in the floor, y'all. Somebody moved my trash can. There we go. Um... I just, I don't know, I just wiggle it. And I was posting my lives early in the morning so that everybody could see it and stuff, but tonight I did it like a half hour, 45 minutes before I came live, and it worked. Yes, yes, Cindy, you should go live at 5, 5.30. That way I'm not overriding you. Because I think that you should be doing your lives too, woman. Alright. Let me get some more of these. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I try. Alright, I'm going in the brown this time instead of the beige for my ribbon tail. And I try to keep up with the house chores. The only time I won't go live is when I'm sick. No, ma'am. The way you see my table and everything right now, um, my camera is in front of me. And I move it, you know, wherever I need it. Hey, Dana. And I try to stay right here so that you can see it. I don't move my camera around. There was a time that I was moving it around a lot because I was still trying to find the right place for the right lighting right positioning and I think I finally found it so I've been working like this for a couple months now and it works so what is why is it doing that is it not wanting you to share? Why is it pulling up the security? Somebody help me understand that one. No, ma'am. I use a regular webcam. I bought at Walmart. I think it was less than $100. And it has a, uh, it has a ring light on it. And it's in the, we're in the computer section at Walmart. It's in the gaming section. 
I'll show you the box because I did keep the box. And it's very easy to set up. You just plug in, plug and play. But this is what it is. Let me turn this light off so you can see without the glare. Okay. That's all it is. Very simple to use. And this is the ring light. You, it, you can dim it, turn it off, turn it bright, however you want to work it, but that's, that's what it is. You're welcome, Beverly. It took a bit for me to find one that I actually liked, and, well, I had one, but let me tell you, it started buzzing. And I mean, it was annoying how much it buzzed. And my overhead light keeps going out. So if you keep seeing it flicker back and forth. I did. Walmart special. Um, you're welcome. Not a problem. Alright, so here we go. Wow, I've been on here two hours and it don't feel like it. You're welcome. Okay. Don't be, don't be sorry. This ribbon is 13 inches. This one's 12. I'm going to fill in the middle. Like if I was, if I didn't have a sign, I would find something to put in the middle. And I would, or I would keep doing the same pattern all the way around to fill it in. Same thing with my mesh, or my Le uh, not leaves, sorry. Um, ribbon tails. You're welcome. Um, I, that's what I would do. Is I would continue to fill it in the same way. And I think tonight, instead of putting my sign directly in the middle, I think I'm going to go off to the side just a little. About like that. So you can still see some of the ribbons peeking through. You're welcome. And if I do go center, I'll put it right here so you can still see the ribbons peeking, peeking through. But then I won't have room for my for my bow. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of go off side just like that. And then I'll have my bow right here. I mean, yes, it covers up some of the ribbon tails, but that's okay. And what I might do is do it on this side. It's all right. Either way, it's all right. Because I don't want to waste the ribbon tails. I already cut them. So it's okay if they get hidden just a little. Yep. 
Yes, ma'am. Don't be afraid of it. Hey, Cindy, thank you. Fall is one of my most favorite seasons just because, I'll tell you, I, I'm an earthy kind of person. I love anything that's earth tone. I love browns and rust oranges and, I mean, that's just, that's just me. Um, I like anything that's earthy. So when I think of fall, that's what I think of. People think of it as things dying where I think of it as, I don't know, the earth showing its true colors. That's just how I see it. Fall and spring are my two favorite seasons. I love decorating for Christmas. But season wise, I like to see things fade and then come back new. That makes sense. just about to the end. I am going to put some in the center because it'll help hold my sign up. Let me cut these. All right. There we go. Now I just need two of each color. Yes. Yes, I like to see the color and how it is so brilliant and then it fades and then in the spring how it comes back new. They're cut at 12 inches. Both colors that I use are 12 inches. It's just the right size. Um, you can go bigger or you can go smaller, whichever works for you. That's right. I agree. He always paints the prettiest pictures.
Thank you, Cindy. Means a lot. All right, so I need two of each color. Same thing, 12 inches. Now with this roll of mesh, this beige that I'm using, I have, this is the third wreath that I've done something with it. And I still have just a little bit left. Sometimes it just depends on what project I'm working on. two of those we're done with that and this one because I opened it tonight I'll get two more pieces off of it and I could probably get another project out of it say pronounce it Charlotte that's okay you can always go for the replay welcome y'all welcome Charlotte if I'm saying your name right I, I'm sorry if I'm messing it up okay I'm gonna start with the beige again you're just gonna roll it three times same as we've done the whole time And this is going to finish the center. Thank you. I'm always afraid I'm going to say somebody's name wrong. Alright. And this row that I'm on now is row 5. Now what I'm going to do is push this down in as far as I can to help cover the center because there are two holes in the middle no ribbon tails in there Charlotte, you will find that this is a wonderful group of women. We all help each other. Texas in the house. We all lift each other up and we all sprinkle each other out. That's what it's all about is friendship, wreathing community, learning something new, and great conversation. I love this wreath, y'all. This is by far one of my favorites. I mean, I love every one that I do, but this is definitely one of my favorites. It is coming together so nicely. That's great. Great to hear. I am glad you're here. I'm glad you found me. If you want to watch me more, you need to go up there and hit the little bell up in the right corner and you will know when I go live again how did I decide I started in 2017 as a newbie didn't even know how to do it and watched a few videos um, then for some reason I thought I'd try something new and it just came to me I mean it doesn't even take me much thought to put something together I just do it and the crafting I get it from my mother because she was crafty 
Welcome, Jennifer. Everybody, welcome, Jennifer. I'm sorry I missed that. I'm sorry about that. But that's how I got into crafting. My mother crafted. I love to craft. Texas in the house. Let's welcome Miss Jennifer to the group. Welcome, welcome. You will enjoy this group of ladies. We are all here for the same thing. Friendship and learning something new. Y'all don't forget to follow my page. Sprinkle me out there. I would love to get a share for everyone that's been on here. Oh yeah? That's awesome. I mean, nobody really showed me how to do it. I just taught myself. Everything that you see me doing, I've seen Lori from Unique in the Creek do something similar, or Kelly, or Patricia, or, I mean, there's a number of ladies I've seen do this. Um, what's her name from Monkey's Creation? I mean, there's a handful of women that I've seen how they make the fold, and then what I do is I go and create it myself. So, I don't make my wreath the same as everybody else. Thank you. Um, all of mine are one of a kind because, I mean, I don't like to copy anybody. Yes, Michelle, thank you. I knew her name, but I couldn't get it off the tip of my tongue. So let me show you. If you just take and move these around. Here's what we got. This is what the center looks like. It will be covered up. Here is the back of the board. Nice and clean. Okay. You can see everywhere that I put a zip tie or a double zip tie for my ribbons. Thank you. Okay, so now it's time to put the sign on. And I'm not worried about this right here because my sign is gonna cover most of it up. And so will my bow, because I am gonna put a bow about right here, about, let's see if I'm up here, about 11 o'clock. Okay, so that's where I'm looking. Alright, so I think that's what I want is that right there. Now I will use two white pipe cleaners. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to use beige. It'll blend better. Thank you. I know. It's okay. It still shows. It's a big sign. Of 
I'm going to have to talk to Lori and see if she can't make these boards bigger. <laughs> Just so that you can use bigger signs. It is a darning needle. Just a little sewing needle that you can get over by the yarn. You're welcome. You hate beautiful. I'm confused. You lost me. Oh, it's okay. I understand. Oh, yeah. You can find the needle at Walmart in their uh, yarn section. with me just a moment. Okay. Here's what we have so far. My bow is going to go right here. I don't even think it needs leaves, y'all. I think leaves would just cover it up more. So I think I'm going to do a bow and call it done. Anybody agree or disagree? Because in my brain, it says it's bow time. Isn't it beautiful? Alright, so I'm going to set this aside. Ow. 
sometimes this thing still hurts. And sometimes it don't. Thank you, thank you. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right. This is a bicycle, not a wood arrow. Okay. I can use some of this. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Thank you. Oh, you can do it. I got faith in you. I'm going to put this in here first. thinking I don't want long tails so what I'm going to do is I guess the, the messy bow so I'm going to go Eight inches. Because I don't want my tails too long. And I'm only going to go five inches on my loops. I'm going to do two loops on one side. And one on the other. And I do get quiet when I'm making my bows. So this tail is going to go up here. And that's how that's going to go. Thank you. Now right here I want to go with a solid. Hang on, let me wrap this up. Now I'm going to cut 
come in this way. Okay, half twist. I'm going to stay right here. This is going to be, I'm going to leave this one at five inches also, I think. I'm very sorry if I get quiet. I tend to do that right when I'm trying to concentrate the most. Okay. It is the messy bow, right, Gina? Am I right or wrong? Okay. This one. I thought I had a green. I guess not. Unless I used it. Oh well, but anyway. Let's go with, I think I want to go with these leaves because it has that burgundy in it. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. And this one, I'm going to go this way. Nothing wrong with that, Gina. I just, I don't know the names of them either, but I'm thinking it's the messy bow. Now I am going to come in at four and a half inches. I'll probably go back and change my tail links. There's no telling. There you go. A 
Nothing wrong with that, my friend. Okay, I want to put one with pumpkins on it, but I think I want this colorful one. instead of the other one that I used. Right, now I'm going to come out this way. And I am going to come in to the four. And this, this one I'm actually going to do four loops. So the first two loops are going to be four inches. The second two loops are going to be three and a half. four and a half okay just for giggles I'm going to do another loop and I am going to come in I love it. All right, that's the bow, ladies. That's the bow. Alright, now I'm going to do the tricky part. You want to go slowly when you're doing this, otherwise you will lose your stacks. Sort of like I just did, but I think I can fix it.
You can do it, Teresa. I have faith in you. It does take a lot of practice. When I first got my uh, my first bow maker, I'm going to tell you, I was intimidated because I didn't know how to use the blasted thing. And one day I thought I'd just goof off. And Lord and behold, I figured out how to use it. Uh oh. Alright, so a messy bow, I'm not going for perfection. Because it's not going to be perfect. It's messy for a reason. My little dude for the middle. Isn't that cute? Absolutely. Hang on just a second. I'm playing with my bow. There you have it, ladies. My messy bow. And it's messy. What do you think? Now let's find a home for it. I think I like it right there. Thank you, ladies. All right, time for me to fish it down through here. Thank you. I 
I don't want to pull it too tight. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Good night. I'm done anyway. So I thank you for staying and hanging out with us. I will be done in just a jiffy. Thank you. Let me know how it goes tomorrow, Cindy. And here it is. There's the bow. Whoops, wrong way. There's the bow. Here's the sign. side of the wreath. And the back. Okay. Now, I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you, Nadine, Judy, Teresa, Jennifer, all of you ladies, thank you so very much. And I'm sorry it took me almost three hours. But hey, we had fun. I had fun. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Tweety. I am going to turn in. It is 11 o'clock. So it'll take me probably an hour to unwind. So I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow night. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to share, like subscribe to my youtube channel check out my etsy shop um you name it you do it however you want to do it so y'all have a wonderful night and a happy tuesday night all <laughs>